So basically the concept is in a very aggressively downsized gasoline engine. So what we do is we uh, reduce the engine capacity from the base car by 50%. The engine is combined with a microhybrid yes. system. So what we do is we regenerate put the power, put all the energy recovered into ultra capacitors, which are cheap and small compared to batteries, only a fraction of the cost. And then we use that energy to give us a microhybrid functionality. So on the drive cycle, when you put your foot down, we can add motor torque back into the crankshaft. But better than that, we can take the, uh, the power and we put it into our electric supercharger. Basically, the benefits of this car are that it's, um, it can be called a hybrid. So it's got very low fuel consumption. So the target fuel consumption is 99 grams per kilometre for a gasoline car. But with the same drivability, uh, no perception that it's a hybrid at all. Uh, much lower cost than a conventional hybrid. And actually, we think we can get down to about 89 grams per kilometre of fuel consumption. Yeah, so the main component here is a 200 Farad Ultra Cap Pack, which is relatively small. It's only four or five kilos approximately 100 euros, so far cheaper than a battery. Um, then we have just a DC to DC converter in the back. The rest of it is just power electronics that is uh, that we put in for development purposes. So the main thing is these would be hidden in the car. They don't take up much space. This is not necessary and this is the high level controlling architecture. So we run this on top of the, the Bosch engine management system, which is the, ne the latest generation of Bosch engine management system. It's a very complicated engine management system and then we have to just put the controlling architecture on top. It's the easiest way to do it when you have such a complicated engine management system. So as I said, all that's needed in the car is that and that to be, typically this can be positioned anywhere in the vehicle. So the distance from the engine is not critical. Also similarly for this component here. So you could put, put them under a seat or in a, in a wheel arch or under the engine base somewhere, somewhere you could find a space. You could also change the, the shape of it slightly to make it fit somewhere. So we'd originally intended for this to go in the wheel arch, but we then put it on a on a, uh, a piece of a piece of wood, and then this just to screw it down, so people could actually see. So we can point out the ultra caps because that's that works with the the integrated starter generator, uh, the belt integrated starter generator. But that's uh, that's the key thing really that differentiates this from a normal hybrid. It's just a, an ultra cap pack.